We are currently in Windermere, Florida, and behind us is the Dixie Cream Cafe. This was actually suggested to us, and we were passing through, and we're like, let's, let's stop here. Also, fun fact, this is now our 1,000th video. That's a lot of videos. A lot of videos. But um, we thought for our 1,000th video, let's go to Dixie Cream Cafe, where they serve breakfast and lunch. Probably gonna have to get the breakfast if it's the best around. So we're here with my parents to celebrate. Gonna go in, show you what it's like. Let's go check it out. Not much parking around, um, and all these places have their own designated parking. So on this side is where you can park for the Dixie Cream Cafe. Looks like they, there might be a wait. They've got some outdoor seating. Open Tuesday through Sunday, eight to 2.30, closed on Mondays. Kitchen closes at 2.15. Whoa, they've got some coffee mugs, hats. They've got some restrooms over there. Look at this bakery. It's a 15 minute wait, that's not bad at all. Banana bread, look at the cinnamon rolls, cookies over here. Peanut butter pie, lava cake, key lime pie. Yum. Their bakery menu. No cards for sale. Benefit Matthew's Hope in Winter Garden. They're seating all over this way. We'll show you this menu here in a second. We're just kind of doing a preview, but they've got some very interesting items. I'm excited to try it. Looks like you can possibly just come up here and order some of the bakery items too. All right, we just got called back. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, this is actually a pretty big place. Oh, back here in the corner. Their pictures are for sale on the wall too. Their paintings and drawings and stuff. Dixie Cream Cafe, where somebody knows your name. Ours showed that earlier. You can do some private events. There's the address. They do have a website. This is a very big menu. So let's start with breakfast. Over here, the Dixie Cream Omelets. Create your own custom omelet. Bananas Foster's French Toast. Yeah, look at those. Two egg combo. And over here we've got Benedict's. Scrambles. Dixie's famous brisket hash. Breakfast sandwich, breakfast burrito. To your health. Something we saw earlier. Look at the oatmeal brulee. That might be something I'm looking into getting. Breakfast sides. Then over on this side, we've got the lunch. Southern Comfort. Some quiche. The garden. Also some different things down here. That's the house specialty. Over here, sandwiches and such. Brisket dip. And then down here, burgers. Lunch sides on the back. From the espresso bar, they've got coffees, espresso lattes. Actually, quite a bit of lattes. Beverages, they do have a, a passion fruit iced tea. Dixie desserts. Mimosas. Dixie kids. And I think that's it. Went with a half and half tea to start out. And then she said, when you know what you want, shut your menu, sit them down, and she'll be back to take our order. I feel like I gotta try this oatmeal brulee and some applewood bacon. I think that's what I'm gonna end up getting. A lot to try though. Omelets are good too though. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Now being back against this wall, the uh, 
voices tend to echo, and it, it's a little loud in here, just so you know. Tea, regular tea. How's the water? Water is good. Yeah, it looks like all of these pieces of art are for sale, so that's kind of cool. It's currently about 11.50. You can see it's cleared out quite a bit. So we have some of the food. This is the Dua Didi omelet with a biscuit and um, some potatoes. You got some scrambled eggs, but you have a parfait coming. And they brought the parfait. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Side of fruit. That's half order of biscuits and gravy. Here's the bacon. And then here's the brulee. Not what I was really kind of expecting, but it looks like good oatmeal. So actually, yeah, look, that's like the um, torched stuff on top. Look at the cream cheese in the omelet. Dang. Oh, I get to try that cream cheese. Let's try the oatmeal. Oh yeah. Dang, that is really good. Makes it sweet though. Yeah, but that is good. If you like your oatmeal with like sugar and brown sugar and stuff, that's for you. Bacon, solid bacon. Timber, you got good flavor. You said it's not a thick gravy, but the flavor. Flavor's is good. good. It's that omelet. Yeah, that's a tasty omelet for sure. My mom just tried it and likes the crunch with the caramelized brown sugar. Um, it's really good. I mean, that's borderline stinking good oatmeal. And then I see what you're saying. It is really good flavor, but yeah, it is runny, which doesn't necessarily matter, but um, good flavor. Biscuit's good too. It just doesn't look like your typical biscuit. Right. You like that? Yeah, my dad likes the oatmeal too. That's a big bowl for $7. Look at this thing. My mom said that is top notch right there. I feel like I haven't even touched this thing. I've been eating for a while on it too. This might be the best value. I don't think I can finish it. Wow. And then I would get the bacon again. I would actually get both again and pretty much cleaned up everything. Now, sometime we will have to come back and try the lunch. Whoever suggested this, you usually get lunch or breakfast. And you can tell that everything's homemade. Like the parfait has homemade granola. And my mom said she gets parfaits almost everywhere. She can tell if that's homemade. Oatmeal's homemade. Everything's good. Biscuits, I'm sure, are homemade. Gravy's homemade. And then also, if you have been here before, what is your favorite thing to get? Also just the two egg sizes over here. Huge eggs, just for two. So, um, honestly, I give this one a thumbs up. Everything's good. And sometime we will have to try the dessert. I bet the bakery has some very good items. Just too full right now. Next time we come back for lunch, we'll try the dessert. We've got the one to three scale. One, you wouldn't go. Two, you would come. You, if you're here, you would come back. Three, you definitely would come back. What's yours, my dad's? Strong two. A strong two. Three. My mom's a three. Timber? Two. two. I would be at a three. Maybe a lower end three, but I would definitely come back for. Yeah, I think I would. Yeah, I'd like to try bakery items. I'd like to try the lunch. And. I would take family, like if we were, family was coming to visit and we were maybe going to the parks, passing through, I would for sure say, let's try this place out. The rules are one, you would definitely not go back, right? One and done. One and done. Two, if you're in the area, you'd, you'd stop and go again. If you're in the area, you would stop and go again, but you wouldn't necessarily go out of your way to go. You would just kind of, you could eat there if everybody's going. And three, You'd make a special you would trip. make a special trip out. So that's kind of the scaling. Zero, you're done. Which we did have a zero before. Well, zero, you don't even stay to eat. We've, we've, we've done that. Yep. Here we go. Here is the final bill. Had a good server. Everything. 60.44 for some homemade good breakfast. Actually, that's not really unreasonable considering we got three drinks with that as well so all right we are heading back outside see the crowd level has gone down a little bit here oh they do have some dixie cream specials 
right here, Tim's Wine Market. And there's an art shop, a real estate shop. Very close to the theme parks too. And see parking for Dixie Cream Cafe only. It goes right through here. That was our trip out to the Dixie Cream Cafe here in Windermere. It was good. I really appreciate the suggestion. Parents liked it, you liked it. There were two twos and two threes on the scale that sometimes we use. Um, we came about at the right time. Had we come a little earlier, we got here, what, about 10, 30-ish? Yeah. Had we come probably a little earlier, it would have been a little bit more of a wait, but 15 minutes isn't bad at all. Uh, if you come now though, which it's more like 1130-ish, not really that bad of a wait at all. And just make note that the kitchen does close 15 minutes early. So don't get here at like 2.20 and expect to get something. I understand that. We worked in the food industry. You never want somebody to come in one minute left. Just uh, just kind of rough. You're like, oh, I'm almost done. No, I'm not. But um, just know they do close the kitchen early. Other than that, I would get the oatmeal again and I would get the bacon again. Biscuits are gravy good. Would you get it again or would you try something different? Yeah, no, I'd get it again. Yeah, so lots of omelets to choose from and really great spot no complaints you would get a coffee probably next time wouldn't you like a cappuccino yeah like a cappuccino because it looks like they've got some nice. neat ones there but i think that's going to wrap it up today um thousandth video done in the books many many more to come as always thank you for watching if you've gone back and watched some of the older ones bless you because they're a little rough there hopefully we're doing better now but i think we're gonna call it so with that being said that does it for today. Thanks for watching.